again. I'm back. Yes, I am back, my friends. I'm back with another math video. Chapter 2. We're looking at lesson 2.6. I hope all of you are doing well, my great fifth grade friends. Now, let's go ahead and look at our topic today is divide by two digit divisors. Our essential question, this is the purpose of this lesson, is how can you divide by two digit divisors? I don't think this is anything that you've done up to this point. So welcome to the world of two digit divisors. <laughs> anyway, we can't do any of that, right? Unless we unlock the problem. That's right, my friends. It's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Now, let's go ahead. It says Mr. Yates owns a smoothie shop. Ooh. To mix a batch of his famous orange smoothies, he uses 18 ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice. Each day, he squeezes 560 ounces of fresh orange juice. How many batches of orange smoothies can Mr. Yates make in a day? And then, of course, it says here that we're going to underline the sentence that tells you what you are trying to find. Right, we circle the numbers you need to use. And I like that idea that helps us organize, but I kind of like just looking back at the problem and digging it apart. So we understand here the purpose of division on this problem. Okay, a smoothie shop, I'm sure you guys have had smoothies before, right? So he's got this batch of famous orange smoothies. So in order for him to mix his batch of famous orange smoothies, he's using 18 ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice, okay, 18 ounces. Now it says each day he squeezes 560 ounces. That's a very large number of orange juice. How many batches of orange smoothies can Mr. Yates make in a day? So the key thing here that we're looking at is that each day he can he can squeeze 560. It takes 18 ounces to make a batch of his famous orange smoothies. It doesn't really say, like I'm thinking of a smoothie like one glass. I don't know, that could be one batch or one batch might make more than that. But to understand the problem is we're interested in how many batches that he can make. So if he's squeezing at 560, that's our dividend. And then we're gonna divide that by the 18 ounces. So that way it'll give us how many batches. And in this case, you may recall that we talked about partitive and measurement uh, division and how that's different, how many groups. And in this case, they're not giving us how many batches. We need to figure that out, but they are giving us the size and that's 18 ounces. So let's go ahead and underline some of this information. So we're definitely trying to find out how many batches of the orange smoothies can Mr. Ye Mr. Yates make in a day. Information that's gonna be important is that's 18 ounces right here, right? 18 ounces of the freshly squeezed orange juice. And again, I'm circling this too, not just the number. And each day it says he squeezes 560 ounces of fresh orange juice. So those are the key numbers there though, definitely. The 18 right here, right? And the 560, which I've pretty much buried at this point. <laughs> anyway, okay, it says divide, 560 divided by 18. I look at that divisor. That's typically what I like to estimate first. So if I were to put a 20 there, I'm gonna take a certain amount, which is the dividend, divided by 20. Well, we have 56. What's well, close to 56? I mean, actually 560 actually works because you can split 56 in half pretty easily. But if we use the basic facts, it'd probably be better to use 600 because there that we can take six divided by two, which is three. Then we subtract two minus one, giving us 30. Now it says use the estimate to place the first digit in the quotient. Okay, so we know that we're gonna be in the tens. The first digit of this quotient will be in the, we've done this before, tens place. There's a little bit of a review. Step two. Divide the tens, okay? So we're gonna take here 56 tens. And remember, we couldn't deal with the 500, right? Again, 500 couldn't be distributed evenly with the 18. Therefore, we needed to regroup and we regrouped and made our tens. That's how we have 56 tens divided by 18. Now we multiply and they did here, they did the 18 times. And in this case, it's gonna be the three tens, which is gonna be equal to 54. And that's gonna be tens. And then we do subtract. Okay, they've subtracted that already for us. 56 minus 54 equals two tens. And check, two tens cannot be shared among 18 groups without regrouping. This is so true. Okay, now it says divide the ones. Okay, because we have that. So divide the ones. We take a look here. We have the three, we have the two, we brought down our zero, there's 20. Okay, so now we have 20 ones. So now we'll take the 20 ones, we divide that by the 18. We we're gonna multiply here because we always divide, multiply, subtract. That's always the order. Okay, so multiply. So we're gonna take our 18 then, and it's actually gonna be times the 
one one, which is going to give us 18 ones. So now we have the 18 ones here. And now we subtract. So we have our 20 ones that we had way up from above minus the 18 ones is equal to two ones. How easy is that, huh? Now check. Now we definitely can check. And we can see that we cannot share two equally. Okay. So two ones cannot be shared equally. Therefore, therefore there is a remainder of two. So since 31 is close to the estimate of 30, the answer is reasonable. So Mr. Yates can make 31 batches of orange smoothies each day. Because this is our final answer. And yeah, we had an estimate of 30. We had 600 divided by 20. There you go. So yes, it's very reasonable. Explain what the remainder 2 represents. Good question or yeah, it can explain. So what that basically means is, is that there was an additional 2 ounces that we weren't able to put in a batch. Because if you recall at the very beginning of the problem, there's 560 ounces that were done each day. And then he needed 18 ounces for each batch. So he was able to make 31 batches. Unfortunately, there was two ounces left over. Okay, so that's what that two kind of represents. The leftover. Okay, woohoo! Let's go to the next problem. So this is an example. Every Wednesday, Mr. Yates orders fruit. He has set aside $1,250 to purchase Valencia oranges. And that must be good oranges. Each box of Valencia oranges cost $41. I'm just going to mark that right there. $41 for you guys for one box. Okay. How many boxes of Valencia oranges can Mr. Yates purchase? Now, again, I can see this is division because I have that first 1250 here. This is key because let's see how much money he's going to spend for these oranges. And then we know that each box costs that amount, which we listed over here. So then the, the question becomes how many boxes can he purchase? Okay, so we have the size of the box. We need to know how many boxes there are. So let's go ahead and take a look down here. Now it says divide. We have 1,250 divided by 41. And it looks like that we have to create our estimate. So let's make that 41, just 40. See if we can find some compatible numbers. I'll look at that to 12. That's perfect. 1,200 divided by 40 then is going to equal 30. Again, we take those two zeros there, minus one zero leaves us with one. That's how that works out in reverse. And now it looks like that they've already figured out part of this. They have an answer for us and our quotient pretty close to our estimated quotient here. Well, let's go ahead and start dividing. Of course, we can't take the 1000 and break that up into 41 equal parts. So that's not going to work. Nor is 1200 going to work. That's only going to give us 12 hundreds and we have 41. So we have to go over to the 125 tens and that does work. It looks like we can do it with a three. They've already got that up there. So now that's going to be 123. If we take 41 times three. Now I have leftover two. Okay, sounds good. Now this is where that whole dad, mother, sister, brother comes into play because we divided first. We divided that number into the 125 tens. Then we, we, we multiplied. We took the 41 times the three and that gave us that part right there. And then we subtracted, which was the S. Finally, the next one is going to be the B, the brother, bring down. So then we put a zero there because that's the zero we're bringing down. Now, 41 can't go into 20. We can't do it. So that's why you see a zero up above. So we say zero times. So we still have to take that 41 times zero. It wasn't able to go in there. That only happens when you bring that digit down. So that ends up with zero. And then, of course, if we subtract it, we still end up with 20, which is the remainder right up above. So that looks good. We have 30, remainder 20. Now let's just check your work. Okay, let's do that. Let's take our 30, multiply it by the divisor, and then they all actually already did some of the work for us. Okay, so we have zero times one is zero. Okay, one times three is three. Looks good. And then I come down. I need to put in my placeholder. That's right. And then after that, four times zero is zero. Four times three is 12, and there's my 12. Now I just need to do the adding part. Now, you can see this is not our dividend. 1,230? No, it's not. So we need to come over here and add on our remainder. So 1,230 adding on the remainder of 20 gives us 1,250. Now it says, so Mr. Yates can buy, now we know the actual answer, 30 boxes of Valencia oranges. Now you might wonder that 20, what does that 20 mean? Like in the previous problem. Well, that 20 again, just means that he's not going to be able to buy another whole box. 20 out of 30 would be almost like two thirds. So he could actually get like two thirds of a box, but that's all he could get. He couldn't get a full box. And he was starting off, the money he was using that was that 1,250. 
All right. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. You did it? Another video? Woo! Oh my goodness. We totally wrong. Yeah. Anyway, hey, love the music in the background. Now, it is time.